So, let us come to the fifth problem. When the radius of a sphere decreases from 3 centimeters to 2.98 centimeters, then the approximate decrease in the volume of a sphere is. So, first let us analyze the problem. Initial radius of a sphere is 3 centimeters, final radius of the sphere is 2.92 centimeters. Now, error 2.98 minus 3 centimeters, you will, be, you will be getting negative in the sense that means decreases. So, what we have to find out here in this case? So, we have to find out approximate decrease in the volume. So, that means delta V we have to calculate. So, not percentage error in volume of sphere, here we have to find out error in V, delta V we have to calculate. So, delta V is equal to here uh, generally here see d f is equal to f dash x into delta x formula that formula we have to apply here. Okay. Now, let us come to this problem. Let us say initial radius r is equal to 3 centimeters, but one thing you must remember all the calculations can be done based on initial values only. So, that means r value is equal to 3 centimeters r dash is equal to 2.98 centimeters and error in radius r is equal to r dash minus r 2.98 minus 3. How much shall you ex expect it now that is minus 0 0.02 centimeters check it correct. Okay. Now, we know that how do you calculate volume of a sphere, the formula should be recalled. Already we have discussed in the introduction part. So, introduction part is very very important once again I am reminding you. So, better go to the introduction part. In the introduction part we discussed totally about the brief discussion on sphere. What is the volume? How do we calculate the volume of a sphere? That V is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, V is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now, differentiate with respect to r, but write down in terms of delta v itself only do not worry. So, delta v by delta r is equal to 4 by 3 pi into r cube differentiation is 3 r square. So, delta v approximately equal to 4 3 3 gets cancelled. 4 pi r square into delta r. Just substitute that is enough. So, now 4 pi multiplied by r square radius square is 3 square delta r is minus 0 0.02. Okay. That is 9 into 4 36 pi into minus 0 0.02. So, minus 36 into 2, 36 into 2 is what? 72, 0 0.2 pi centimeter cube. What does minus sign indicates? That is decrease. So, therefore, decrease in V is equal to 0 0.72 pi centimeter cube. Now, what will be the answer? Do you expect it? Answer is third option. Sixth problem. If an error of 1 by 10 percent is made in measuring the radius of a sphere, then percentage error in its volume is. So, very simple problem and direct problem easily we can crack in the crack in the examination. So, moreover it is very very important problem also. The percentage error in the radius of a sphere given and you are asked to find out percentage error in the volume. So, that means delta r by r into 100 is given that is 1 by 10. Delta v by v into 100 you have to find out. So, if you just write the formula of volume of a sphere easily we can write delta v by v into 100. 
Okay. So, let us write it first. So, what is given delta r by r into 100 is given that is 1 by 10. Our question is delta v by v into 100 is equal to how much? This is given, this is to be evaluated. We know that v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. I already told you, this is mere constant, leave it. Now, shortcut apply. Delta v by v into 100 is equal to, we can write, what is the dimension of r? 3. 3 times delta r by r into 100. Just see it, delta r by r into 100 is given. So, this is replaced by 1 by 10. 3 into 1 by 10. 3 by 10, this is a decimal fraction, 0 0.3 percent. Now, you can choose your option. What will be the right option? The first option. Seventh problem, the area of a square is 9 centimeter square and error executed in it is 0 0.02 centimeter square. The percentage error in the measurement of the length of the diagonal of the square is that we have to calculate it. So, that means first of all here the percentage error in the measurement of the length of the diagonal we have to find out. Here see first of all area of the square write down. Suppose let x be the side of a square. So, what is the area of the square we have discussed in the our introduction part that is a is equal to x square. So, now percentage error write down delta a by a into 100 is equal to 2 times delta x by x into 100. Now, delta a is given 0.02 by area is 9 into 100 is equal to 2 times delta x by x into 100. Understood? Now, 100 into 0 0.02 is 2. So, 2 by 9 is equal to 2 times delta x by x into 100. 2 2 gets cancelled, delta x by x into 100 is equal to, we get 1 by 9, you keep like this. But our aim is not to find out the percentage error inside, what we have to find out? The percentage error executed in the length of the diagonal of a square. See, the length of the diagonal of the square is given by L is equal to root 2 x. So, percentage error in L that is delta L by L into 100 is equal to this 2 is constant root 2 leave it x dimension is 1. So, delta x by x into 100 already we know this value 1 by 9. So, 1 by 9 this is the answer I hope you might have followed. So, which is the right option second one is the right option. 